10 Strongest Teams in Anime, Ranked Some of the most dangerous characters in action anime tend to work as a team, whether they're heroes or villains. Teamwork makes the dream work. In anime, that's the motto most heroes go by. But it also seems to work pretty well for many major villains of the series. Some of the most dangerous characters in action anime tend to work as a team. In the case of the villains, this can be an issue if there's no clear alpha, as they're often working towards different goals even if they claim to be working towards the same objective. But with the heroes, it usually means they're able to make up for each other's weaknesses, making them capable of defeating enemies that they normally wouldn't stand a chance against. In either case, though, it's best to try and split them up rather than deal with them as a group. 10. The Godii 13 are dangerous, but always seem to be losing in their own series. The Godii 13 are all the captains of the Soul Society in a single group, including the incredibly powerful Yamamoto of the First Division. As powerful as they are though, it's hard to rank them too high because in their own anime they're rarely allowed to look cool. Aizen embarrasses quite a few of them without even trying. And that includes a group of former Shinigami captains as well. Even in the Thousand Year War arc, their performance without the help of their fellow Royal Guard captains is a bit lacking. It's actually strange to see a group that's clearly so powerful feel so ineffective within their world. 9. The Phantom Troop was a group of villains who remained relevant even after its arc was finished. In many series, after a story is done with a group, they gradually slide into irrelevance. But even in the Chimera Ant arc, the Phantom Troop were just as dangerous as they were when the series started. After causing so much trouble in York New City, they continued to go on about their way. With a slightly smaller number. But when they met up with some chimera ants, Phaeton and the others completely cleaned house, leaving nothing left of the dangerous animals. 8. The Black Bulls are the most destructive, most powerful magic knight group. Clover Kingdom's most powerful magic knight group is the Black Bulls. Asta has the power of anti-magic and he can manipulate to even use long range or cover himself with it entirely. Noelle has incredible magic reserves and has used them to defeat enemies as powerful as her magic knight captain older brother. The rest of them all have aspects that make them dangerous spellcasters. But what makes them truly threatening is how they work together to overcome threats, it's a lesson the other magic knights take forever to discover. 7. Seven Deadly Sins are the most powerful knights of Britannia. The strongest knights of Britannia, the Seven Deadly Sins were all said to be dangerous demons who had done crimes so horrible that they were engraved with evidence of what they'd done. Despite being branded as traitors, the sins have survived for centuries and even decades in some cases, and their power hasn't changed in the least. Their leader Meliodas is completely immortal. While a scanner is essentially the most powerful of them all during the day. 6. Fairy Tail have defeated beings of infinite magic. Like the Straw Hat Pirates, the Fairy Tail group is a guild of loud, rambunctious mages. They're constantly fighting each other. But that's just to keep their skills sharp, nothing means more to Team Fairy Tail than the other members of their guild. They're a family, and when they're working together they're unstoppable. Literally. They've beaten a mage boasting infinite magical power and one of the most powerful dragons that ever lived, and while it does become a little power of friendship over time. It's hard to deny what they've accomplished. 5. The Akatsuki were nearly unbeatable when they were working together. A collection of S-ranked ninja that were all terrifying. Their goal is to gain control over all of the tailed beasts. And to their credit, they do a decent job at coming close to accomplishing that goal. The only thing that stops them is their members don't like working together as a group unless they have to. 
and several of them have their own goals which can be completely separate from their goal as a group. Still, any time one can collect Itachi, Pain, and Tobi into a single group. It's going to be dangerous. 4. The Straw Hats are some of the most dangerous pirates that ever sailed the sea. One Piece's Straw Hat pirates deserve some respect after everything they've overcome. Of course. They look like goofs who are just following Luffy on an adventure because they like each other, but their actual feats are terrifying. Luffy himself has grown to be recognized as the fifth emperor of the sea. And even someone like Usopp that supposedly scared of everything has been able to take down threats the rest of the team couldn't by using his own strategies. 3. Team 7 members are the strongest ninja in the Naruto world. Team 7 is even more powerful than the Akatsuki. Yes, even Sakura, when she's with them, and even early on Team 7 was fairly impressive. Sakura has monstrous strength and is one of the best medical ninja that ever lived. Meanwhile, Sasuke is one of the last Uchiha and has established himself as the most powerful. Naruto has the nine tails within him and his own chakra is monstrous as well. The three of them working together were the most powerful ninja team that Naruto has ever shown fans. And it would be difficult to find a group that could get over their teamwork and combined abilities. 2. Team Urameshi were able to fight the kings of the demon world. A group that slowly climbed the ranks from irrelevant to near the level of kings. At the start of Yu Yu Hakusho. This group struggled facing even deranked demons. But the group was constantly forced to battle against people stronger than they were, and trained to improve their powers. By the time they were up against Taguro. They were already B-ranked demons and had gained prestige throughout the demon world for their accomplishments. The Three Kings Saga tossed three of their most powerful members into a tournament to decide who would be the next demon king. And while none of them won, this was largely from lack of experience, as they were facing beings hundreds of years older than they were. 1. The Z Fighters have shown themselves capable of destroying planets. While they might have started out weak early on, is there any doubt that the Z fighters belong at the top? Frisia was in his first form blowing up planets, and there's not a single member of the Z fighters that isn't more powerful than Frisia's first form. That means the weakest of them is capable of blowing up planets, and things only scale up from there. Vegeta and Goku are at this point on the way to competing with the gods of destruction. There's no team in anime that's more powerful than this without being capable of just altering reality. <laughs>